that because I think they are the needed objectives. The extradition bill has sparked an outcry since it was first announced. Now here's how events have unraveled since then. In February, the Hong Kong government proposes legal changes that would streamline the transfer of criminal suspects to jurisdictions with which it lacks formal extradition treaties. Now the sticking point is it'll allow extraditions to mainland China. Officials say it will close a loophole that they claim has allowed Hong Kong to become a criminal haven. But the move sparks backlash from many who fear that this would undermine the city's autonomy and status as a financial hub. As criticism mounts at both at home and abroad, the government starts to make concessions. It removes nine categories of financial crimes from the proposed law in March. Two months later, it introduces further tweaks, the key amendment being the raising of the extradition limit to crimes that carry at least a seven-year jail term. But unease continues, and in June, many in the legal community sound out. Over 3,000 lawyers hold a rare silent protest march through the city. Just three days later, there's a massive protest. Police place the turnout at around 240,000. But organizers say as many as a million people joined in. This would make it the largest protest in Hong Kong's history in decades. But things turn ugly soon after the protest permit expires at midnight. Clashes break out as police move in to disperse the crowds. As you can see here, officers are seen using pepper spray and batons, and protesters hurl bottles and make use of metal barricades. Violence flares again days later, forcing lawmakers to postpone the second reading of the bill. This time, police use tear gas and rubber bullets against protesters, some of whom try to storm government buildings. Dozens are injured. Now, it's amid this mounting pressure that the Hong Kong government finally yields, with Chief Executive Carrie Lam announcing the bill's suspension today. Despite this, the jury is still out on whether peace will return to the city. A planned rally for tomorrow is still going ahead, and organizers say only a full withdrawal of legislation would satisfy them. And back home, reduce, reuse and recycle right. The Environment and Water Resources Ministry is encouraging us to do all these as it strives for a zero-waste future. Take a look at this. The